welcome back to online classes dear students today i am going to discuss with indian penal code under section 375 under the topic sexual offences okay sexual offences section 375 section 376 375 explain about rape 376 uh, explain about punishment of rape okay this is very important section in our indian penal code you should read carefully okay okay student let's start section 375 explain about rape that means a man is said to commit rape if he number 1 penetrate is penis male male person penetrate is penis to any extent into the vagina mouth urethra or anus of woman or makes her to do with him or any other person or number 2 insert to any extent any object or a part of the body not being the penis into the vagina the urethra or anus of a woman or makes her to do so with him or any other person or third point manipulates any part of the body of a woman so as to cause penetration into the vagina urethra anus or any part of the body of such woman or makes her to do so with him or any other person or number fourth point applies his mouth to the vagina anus urethra of a woman or makes her to do so with him or any other person so under the circumstances failing under any of the following seven descriptions i will give you the first one is against her will secondly without her consent <coughs> thirdly with her consent when her consent has been obtained by putting her or any person in whom she is interested in fear of death or hurt fourthly with her consent when the man knows that he is not her husband and that her consent is given because she believes that he is another man to whom she is or believes herself to be lawfully married fifthly with her consent when at the time of giving such consent by reason of unsound unsoundness of mind or intoxication or administration by him personally or through another of any stupefying or unwholesome substance she is unable to understand the nature and consequence of that to which she gives consent and sixthly with or without her consent when she is under 18 years of age seventhly seventhly when she is unable to communicate consent okay these are all circumstances falling under rape and another point of view based on the section i'll give you explanation one for the purpose of the section vagina shall also include labia majora explanation to <coughs> consent means <coughs> an unequivocal voluntary agreement when the woman by words words word gestures or any form of verbal or non verbal communication communicates willingness to participate in specific sexual sexual act provided that a woman who does not physically resist to the act of penetration shall not by the reason only of that fact be regarded as 
consenting to the sexual activity and explain one a medical procedure or intervention shall not constitute rape explanation to sexual intercourse or sexual acts by a man with his own wife the wife not being under 15 years of age is not a rape okay and prior to substitution by 9 of the criminal law amendment act 2013 section 375 stood as is modified section 375 based on this amendment act a man is said to commit rape who except in the case year in after accepted as sexual intercourse with a woman under circumstances falling under any of the six following descriptions after the amendment act the first against her will secondly without her concern third with her consent when her consent has been obtained by putting her or any person in whom she is interested in fear of death or hurt fourthly with her consent when the man knows that he is not her husband and that her consent is given because she believes that he is another man to whom she is or believe herself to be lawfully married fifthly with her consent when at the time of giving such consent by reason of unsoundness of mind or intoxication or the administration by him personally or through another of any stupefying or unwholesome substance she is unable to understand the nature and the consequences of that to which she gives consent sixthly with or without her consent when she is under 16 years of age in olden section is 18 years after the amendment act is 16 years okay now modified the earlier is seven ingredients now itself six okay so after the amendment this six ingredients only we follow and explanation same the penetration is sufficient to constitute the sexual intercourse necessary to the offense of rape exception see that exception sexual intercourse by a man with his own wife the wife not being under 15 years of age is not rape okay okay students we'll go to the criminal amendment act the commentary form the the criminal law amendment act 2013 is introduced 3rd february 2013 okay to amend the code of criminal procedure code 1973 and indian evidence act 1872 and the indian penal code 1860 by the ordinance section 375 of ipc 376 376a 376b 376c 376d of indian penal code have been substituted by new section section 375 has also clarified that lack of physical resistance is immaterial for constituting an offense therefore a person who commits an offense punishable under section 1 and subsection 2 of the section 376 and causes death shall be punished with rigorous imprisonment for term which shall not be less than 12 years but which may extend to imprisonment for life we shall mean that reminder of the person natural life or with death here rape is the most normally and physically reprehensible crime in a society as it is an assault on the body mind and privacy of the victim while a murderer destroys the physical frame of the victim a rapist, a rapist 
degrade and defiles the soul of helpless female. Rape reduces a woman to an animal as it shakes the very core of her life. By no means can a rape victim be called an accomplice. And rape leaves a permanent scar on the life of the victim and therefore a rape victim is placed on a higher pedestal than an injured witness. Rape is a <coughs> crime against the entire society and violates of human rights of the victim. Being the most hated crime, rape tanta amounts to a serious blow to the supreme honor of women and offense both are esteem and dignity it causes psychological and physical harm to the victim leaving upon our indelible marks okay students the violation of fundamental rights means you know very well uh, article 21 of the indian constitution act explained okay so because the rape is a violative of uh, victims fundamental right under article 21 of the constitution so the courts should deal with such a case sternly and severely sexual violence apart from being a dehumanizing act is an unlawful sorry intrusion on the right of privacy and sanctity of a woman it is a serious blow at to our supreme honor and offense ourself, esteem and dignity as well. And also it degrades and humiliate and humiliate the victim and where the victim is helpless innocent child or minor also. It leaves began a traumatic experience in this world. A rapist not only causes physical injuries but leaves behind a score on the most cherished position of human that is our dignity, honor, reputation and chastity. Rape is not only an offense against the person of a woman, rather a crime against entire society. It is a crime against basic human rights and also violates the most cherished fundamental rights guaranteed under Article 21 of the constitution so we must remember that a rapist not only violates the victim of privacy and personal integrity but inevitably causes serious psychological as well as physical harm in process rape is not merely a physical assault it is an often destructive of the whole personality of victim a murderer destroys the physical body of his victim, a rapist degrades the very soul of the helpless female. Rape or an attempt to rape is a crime not against an soul of the helpless, not against an individual, right? Because this is based on this, crime is based on the society, which destroys the basic equilibrium of social atmosphere so the consequential death is more around us around us the word is very difficult around us okay h o r r e n d o u s around us it is to kept in mind that an offense against the body of a woman lowers her dignity and mars her reputations it is said that on physical frame is his or temple okay physical frame is is or her temp, temple only no one has any right of encroachment and attempt for the momentary pleasure of the accused has caused the death of a child and had a de-wasting effect on her family and in the ultimate evocate on the collective at large when family suffers in such a manner, the society 
the society as whole is compelled to suffer as it creates an incurable dent in the fabric of the social mill. Okay, students, let's see another part of a section. Okay, this is ingredients of the section 375 after the amendment of the criminal law amendment. Okay, we'll go to another section. I am closing this session students, please read it thoroughly, watch regularly and other section that means 375, sorry 376 we will discuss with next online classes. Stay with your legal mind, be happy, okay, improve your legal knowledge day by day, okay, thank you all, bye, see you. Best of luck.